Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, last time I, I uh, told you guys how to write a script that you can do the print, printer cleaning so you can just walk in anytime, use your printer without worry about clogging and al almost like no hassle maintenance. I made some change on the script. Uh, now we're including a logging function. So that incorporates your guys' comments. So you can come in and uh, check the cleaning log. So you, you can know uh, if cleaning was uh, run and what time is run and uh, what it's doing now. And uh, because it only do cleaning once an hour, so you can come in and say, now it's running cleaning number two and now it's waiting for a cleaning finish window so i can close this window work an hour without shutting down the script again the script can be found at uh, bchtechnology.com go to dtf direct film and uh, go to dtf parts and uh, here's the script and uh, if you don't know how to install and set it up here's the instruction for how you to set it up Okay, let's load the script. And you can see I, tied, I tidied up the script a little bit. So the for loop is from here to here, and the inside the loop is indented. Again, only thing you need to do is just configure where those mouse position is. And uh, so first thing I add is uh, the logging. So here I set a log on, so that to turn the logging on. And after I run the loop, I turn the log off. Inside the loop, I did all the clicks and uh, I clean, I click the clean button. After I click the clean button, I, I write in the log, say, now it's waiting for cleaning to finish. So then, I change this, click a little bit, I add a delay, so you wait 10 minutes to clean the close window, uh, to close the finished window. And uh, Remember the original script, I, I just I changed the timing here, I think it's, it's kind of sloppy, so I just put a wait command here. So um, when it's finished, the cleaning is a uh, cleaning and I give you a number. The number I is loop. So you remember you do 12 loops. So cleaning, let's say number three, just finished. And now we're going to wait for uh, the, the, the next execution. So I then put a, another delay here, say 45 minutes. And uh, so after you see this, uh, you're going to wait 45 minutes to go to the next loop. Okay, so that's all the changes. It's pretty minor. And uh, to, to make the logging work, you click this window. That bring up the logs. Let me put it here. Just uh, look, uh, look neat. I need to configure the log. So click here, go to settings. I'll enable the log. And uh, when you enable the log, you're going to see all those uh, selections, uh, uh, they are not grid anymore, and uh, they all pre-selected. So what what we want is this select all of them. Just keep the info. Okay, so now you're ready to run. And uh, we want to run in a loop. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Select the loop, and click run. And you can see the log says uh, you're running cleaning number one right now. And it says you already click the cleaning button. And now you wait for the cleaning to finish. And remember I said uh, after you see this, you're going to wait 10 minutes and uh, for the next function. Okay, that's all the update. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bch.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.